What is going on everybody? Justin here with Alpha Wash and today I'm going to be sharing something pretty cool with you. I think that y'all will be able to find a lot of value in this. Something we get asked quite often and that's what's the best kind of clothes to wear when pressure washing and soft washing. So when you're pressure washing and you're soft washing you're using sodium hypochlorite or bleach whatever you want to call it but you already know that it bleaches out your clothes. It'll leave you looking terrible with holes in your clothes. And uh, that isn't how you want your team to be out looking. You want them to stay looking professional. So this is something that we learned over time. What materials are resistant to bleach and what materials aren't resistant to bleach. So cotton, that's a big no-no. Cotton is the easiest thing to bleach out. So I highly recommend going the polyester route. So these are our shirts that our guys wear. And I see a lot of pressure washing guys that have shirts on that, that they'll have house washing, roof washing, concrete cleaning, brush removal, they'll have the whole shirt just filled up. They'll have a phone number on there, their website on there, the logo on there. And it's just too much, in my opinion. And like I said, this is just personal preference, but I like these clean shirts with our brand on them. Uh, I don't really think that our, our guys are gonna have anybody coming up and getting their phone number off the back of their shirt when we've got a wrapped vehicle sitting down there at the road and we've got signs out and everything like that that they can come up and scan with their phone so we just we keep it simple we keep the logo on our shirts and um just to build that brand but the most important thing is these shirts are 100 percent polyester and as you can see i've been soft washing in this shirt right here a ton and you, you can't really see the bleach spots if you get some roof mix on here you can see some slightly lighter spots like right there and right there but it's nothing like cotton so you can uh, you can find these. I believe we got these from Queensboro, if I'm not mistaken. These are Sport Tech shirts. That's the brand of them. We've tried a few different brands, and the Sport Tech definitely seems to be the best. So, highly recommend. I've tried long sleeve. Don't really like the long sleeve, so we go with short sleeve now. Uh, we get about, I recommend getting about 12 shirts for the year. Um, that's six. You have six for each week if you work six days a week and then you can wash them and change them out. And that should last you the whole year. So the next thing that's big is what kind of pants do you wear? So if you wear blue jeans, which is what I've got on right now, they're gonna bleach out. And when blue jeans bleach out, they get holes in them. Eventually the, the fabric will come super soft and you can just tear right through it. So they'll leave you looking pretty raggedy if you do so much soft washing blue jeans. So this is what we use. This is a pair of shorts. So we used several different kinds of uh, shorts before we figured out what kind were uh, bleach resistant. And these are Columbia PFG shorts and they're 100% polyester. And I have soft washed a ton of houses in these and you can't even tell. So polyester is the way to go on that. And if you're pressure washing or soft washing in the winter time, you can get this in a pants as well. So polyester on that, polyester on that. And then the next thing is our hats that we use. So this hat is made by OGIO. I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but you can see their logo right there. And these hats are awesome. I've soft washed a ton of houses in these and you see that they didn't bleach out at all. The only thing in fact that's bleaching out is our logo. And that's because they use cotton thread to do our logo, which on the next batch of hats we get, I'm gonna see if we can use polyester thread on our logo to prevent that from happening. But overall, the hats stay looking pretty good compared to a cotton hat. Uh, the cotton hat, I've actually had get holes in them from the bleach, but these are OGIO hats and we just got our logo on there. And uh, these hats are 100% polyester, I believe. Yeah, 100% polyester, says it right there on the tag. So OGIO and it's got the black outline around the bill, really like that. Thinks it look, I think it looks pretty cool, so. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is boots. And I've got three pair of boots right here that I've been through pressure washing and I'm gonna tell you a few stories about them. So, so the first pair of boots that I bought was a pair of extra toughs. I heard a lot of people talk about the extra toughs. So I went out and I bought a pair and I wear a size 11. So the problem with the extra tufts that I experienced is they were way too narrow and they just squeezed the side of my foot super hard. So I actually couldn't even wear them. And I actually gave them to an employee of mine that's no longer with us. So 
He still has them. They weren't doing me any good, and he wore tennis shoes to work every day, and I went to help him out, and they fit him, so I gave them to him. But uh, not saying that those are bad, I just didn't get to wear them because they were too tight on my foot. So after those messed up, I ordered these, and these are Grundens, and they were awesome for a while. They were super, uh, super light, but eventually they ended up I don't know if y'all can see this, but they ended up busting right there. All right, and my three of my employees had the same type of uh, the same type of either extra tufts or grundens, and they all split right there. And the reason behind that is this is a separate piece from that. You've got this crease right here, and when you're bending your foot, you can see it's actually busted on the outside and this side. So. The extra tufts and the grundens are made like this, to where this, this part that goes over the top of the boot is a different piece than this center part right here. And over time, they're gonna collapse like that. Both of mine are like this. I don't even wear them anymore because your feet will get soaked. So those are the grundens I had. So then I had these bean boots that I wore for a while, and these are insulated, so I wore them more in the winter time. But eventually, you can look at the leather right here and the bleach just ate away at the leather. And it actually separated it from the top of the boot. And then water could start getting into there and your foot would be pretty much soaked. So those worked good for a while, but I knew that the leather wouldn't uphold to the bleach. Um, it was just one of those deals to where I didn't really have anything else at the time and I had these. So I just threw them on and went with it. So these are the boots that I use now, and these are the ones that I would recommend if you're going out to buy some boots, and I'll show you why. So these are the these are muck boots. They're the ankle boots, and the reason that I like these so much is the nose piece of it right here, the top part of the boot, it isn't a separate piece than this right here. So when you bend this boot, you don't have to worry about it separating right there. It's all one piece, and these boots have great grip on the bottom, I've had these boots for over a year now, and I have not had a single bit of problems with them. So after four pairs of boots, I finally ended with a muck boot, and they are awesome. Highly recommend these. You don't have to worry about them splitting, because like I said, they're all one piece. And that's pretty much everything I got for you. So for the shirts, go with the polyester, the hat, polyester, pants, polyester. And for boots, I recommend the muck boots, the ankle boots. And because of that split right there on the top, you don't have to worry about that with these. So hope y'all can find some value in this. Y'all go out and get you some of the right clothes so you can stay looking good for your customers. And we'll catch y'all later.